applying the percent equation problem type 2, we said earlier that the word of in these equations is going to translate into multiplication, that the word what is going to indicate our unknown, so I'll call it x, and that is will translate into equals. And with these three translations, we can turn the questions that were being asked into equations that we can then solve. So we're going to start off with the first equation there. It says 125% of 40.4 is what number? So let's start with 125%. Since that's a percentage and we don't do calculations with percentages, I'm going to convert it to a decimal by moving the decimal two places to the left and make that 1.25. So that's the way I'm going to start, 1.25. Then I see the word of, and I know that means multiply, 40.4. Is means equal and then what number that's my variable so I've done the translation into an equation and since we already have the X by itself all we have to do is multiply those two numbers on the left hand side to simplify so if we have 1.25 times 40.4 we get 50.5 so doing the multiplication gives us 50.5 it is just a number so we have found the number 125 percent of 40.5 40.4 is 50.5 and then looking at the second question it starts off with 10.78 10.78 is that means equals what percent what means it's going to be an X of means multiply and then 19.6 to solve this one for X we're going to need to get that 19.6 over to the other side so we undo multiplication with division 19.6 19.6 on both sides that will cancel on the right hand side leaving me with just the X and then to figure out that division I'll bring the calculator back up and we have 10.78 divided by 19.6 equals 0.55 so 0.55 but we're looking for a percent so we want to go that extra mile and convert this decimal into a percentage by moving the decimal two places to the right that would give us 55 percent so for the second question, 10.78 is 55% of 19.6.